Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn a few different ways to create variations for your basic bossa nova groove. Now, if you've never uh, learned a bossa nova, please go and check out my lesson on the uh, bossa nova basics. And what we're going to do now is just, um, we've got to really just take that same basic groove and, and change the way that we play it. Uh, we're not really going to add much. We're just going to uh, sort of look at it from a few different angles. So let me quickly play the basic groove for you again, just to recap, and then we'll check out the variations. One, two, one and two and three and four and. Okay, so that should be pretty familiar to you by now. Uh, if you haven't practiced the basic bossa, go out and practice that first. And then, because uh, what we're going to do is just take that same groove and change it up. What we're going to do first is um, swap the bars around. So bar one now becomes bar two, and all the info from bar two we, we push back into bar one. So it's really just starting the groove from a different place. So let me play that one for you, and it should sound pretty similar. Uh, it just sort of starts off differently. One, two, a one and two and three and four and. Okay, the next variation, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Um, but we're going to change our hi-hat part to become a ride cymbal part. Now what you could do is you could do that for the original incarnation of the bossa and for that first variation. So I'll play through both. And again, all we're going to do is take the hi-hat part, throw it onto the ride cymbal. One, and two, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Okay, so what we're going to do now is take that same basic groove and add in a pedal hi-hat part. So the, the pedal hi-hat will be also a regular groove and it will fall on the two and the four of each beat, uh, of each bar, sorry. So what we'll do is um, take, away, take away the hands and actually just play the, uh, the feet together. So let me play uh, both bass drum and hi-hat now on the two and the four of each bar. Play it nice and slow with the count. One and two and three and four and 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 one. Okay, so now let's add ride symbol back in. Uh, we're going to leave cross stick out for one second. We just want to get comfortable playing uh, both feet now, the bass drum, uh, hi-hat on the two and the four, plus the ride cymbal groove. Okay, one and two and three and four and... Okay, now that should be nice and simple to lock in if you're taking it nice and slow and reading your music. Um, but if you've played the basic bossa already, this should be not too much of a problem. It's really just thinking a little bit more about the feet at first. So let's put the whole thing together. Uh, cross stick, ride cymbal, bass drum, and pedal hi-hat. One, and two, and three, and four, and...
Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on bossa nova variations. If you're looking to study Brazilian music further, I suggest you check out my lessons on uh, samba and all the sorts of samba variations you can do um, because that sort of expands this basic feel uh, into more of a, a, a faster, more danceable sort of street style, whereas bossa nova is more, well, traditionally bossa nova is now more uh, a sort of groove, easy listening music. Some people call it elevated music, which I think is unfortunate. But anyway, you try and make your bossa novas nice and groovy so it never ever gets played in an elevator. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.